All right, we'll start with the questions for quarterback Seth Russell. We got mics on each end, so if you're asking a question, be sure to use your name and affiliation. John Warner, Wake Up Trip. Uh, Seth, uh, you didn't look very nervous at all. <laughs> what was that first half like for you, just piling up those numbers? Oh, it was awesome. Um, offensive line did an amazing job. I mean, as y'all saw, I mean, they picked up everything. Um, the defense played phenomenal, like we knew they would. Um, but uh, all together, it was an awesome, fantastic team effort. Jerry Hill, Baylor Bear Insider. Seth, uh, looked like they were loading up to stop the run. Is that part of what opened up, you know, the deep and, and just the passing game in general? Absolutely. I mean, they, they loaded the box. They were going to stop the run, and they did a good job. You know, we uh, um, didn't have a whole lot of rushing yards, uh, but it uh, opened up the passing game, which uh, our offensive line can stop anybody um, in the passing game. And uh, they did an awesome job. The receivers did an amazing job just getting open and doing what they do. David Smoke, ESPN Central Texas. You would have played a lot maybe in a, a win last week, but how much did playing in that situation and knowing Bryce was hurt help set up this week's success? Uh, it, it definitely set up a whole lot. Um, me going in um, as a backup last week, you kind of have a, you want to have the same mindset as a starter. Um, I didn't, um, but knowing that Bryce was hurt and was out, I had a whole different mindset coming into the game, watched more film, uh, Worked with the receivers a lot more, worked with the O-line, uh, just for leadership, and uh, that definitely helped out. Larry Little, Baylor Bear Insider, can you just talk about the connection you had with KD, especially there early in the game? He's, that KD, he just knows how to get open. Uh, I just threw it up and he went and got it. I mean, I, we didn't really have a, I, mean, I guess you can say there was a connection there, but uh, he, did, he did a fantastic job of just, <clears throat> just, just being KD. Um, he's fast. Uh, he's, that's the state, Texas, in the nation. So uh, he does an amazing job just running, running straight ahead and he can sit down whenever he needs to. Bryce Cherry, Waco Trips. Uh, Seth, two part question. Uh, one, when did you get the word officially that you would start? And the other thing is, how does this help you going forward? Uh, you know, whether Bryce is back next week or, or not? Uh, I never got the official word, honestly. Um, they just kind of, I mean, as, I was going with the ones, and I didn't know if Bryce was going to be back, and it was a day to day basis, as uh, as y'all as y'all know. Um, I, but I prepared as I was going to be the starter, and uh, so what was it? Uh, how does it help you going forward? Um, it, I mean, it, it's, it helps a whole lot, obviously, um, being able to go out there and make connections with, you know, when we had a lot of hurt starters. And uh, going in there and knowing that even with second teamers, you know, they're, they're just as good as the first teamers. And uh, it, definitely, it definitely helps us later on knowing that we can trust on those guys with, if something were to happen to the older guys, um, that they can step up and make plays. Seth in the back news, uh, Tim O'Donnell, News Channel 25. Uh, with Bryce on the sidelines, how did he help you? What are some of the pointers he gave you kind of before the game and throughout the game? Uh, he's encouraging. Uh, he, he was there after every snap or after every um, series on the sideline, just talking to me, um, telling me to keep, you know, keep it calm, you know, stay calm, stay in there, stay ready, um, stay focused. Um, he's, he's definitely a, a key asset on the sideline. Seth David Smoke again, ESPN. Did, did you you always have had a swagger? Did you back that off a little bit today, knowing it was a start that you guys needed to get off to a good start? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I just, I just want to go out there and win, um, whether the swagger or not. I just, I just want to be able to get out there and put the team first and uh, get the W and move on next week. Seth, the deep passing game, the vertical is such a big part of this offense. Is that something you've worked on? Is that something you've gotten better at? Absolutely. I mean, we work on it every day in practice, and we've got to come out and watch. I mean, we probably throw the deep ball more than anybody you've seen. Um, but uh, in that, you know, it transfers over to the game, you know, with, uh, with preparation and being able to connect on those deep balls. Any more questions? Thanks. Thank you.